I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. So we have uh, David Benavidez, man. He's back to aggressively calling out Canelo with this funny behind shirt that I just showed. I'm going to show you again. So he literally uh, <laughs> he literally turned Canelo into a duck. You know what I'm saying? He says duck season. These shirts are available for a limited time. You know what I'm saying? And he's out there aiming at Canelo, shooting at Canelo, firing at Canelo, you know, aggressively, disrespectfully. But I think he should. You know, I know a lot of people that um they feel compelled to pick sides you know what I'm saying? i told you i'm never one to uh to uh pick sides i just want to see great fights and i think that canelo versus benavidez is a great fight you know what I'm saying? it's an example of a great fight one of the best fights that could happen the only fight that i want to see more than canelo versus benavidez currently right now is uh archer better be able to beat you bivol you know which would have happened already if it wasn't for the injuries uh uh, uh sustained uh, to Archer Benavidez's meniscus, right? So a lot of people, fighters alike, you know, want to see Dave Benavidez and, Can and Canelo. A lot of fighters are cu accusing, a lot of people and pundits as well are accusing Canelo of ducking him. I'm not going to say he's ducking him because, you know, I, I don't think Canelo's scared of anybody. There's very, there's very few times where I think these fighters are afraid of each other. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? But you know, I don't know what the, what the holdup is anyway. <clears throat> so I can't, I can't make an excuse for him. I won't make an excuse for him. But um, I don't think he's scared. You know, I just I think actually am one of the few people that still believe this fight will happen. I think this fight will actually happen still. I don't know when, but I hope it'll happen. You know, um, hopefully after he fights either Edgar Berlanga or possibly Jamal Charlo. Um, but yeah, I think this fight happens. I think that Canelo does win. But I think it's a 50-50 fight and it's a great fight, man. So uh, yeah, <laughs> better be this is calling up uh, uh, Canelo. But, you know, I do think as well that Benavides has to consider his circumstance as well you know that's why i think he's aggressively calling out canelo right now because you know he just moved up to light heavyweight and beat alexander vosdick right so um you know, uh, the WBC has gave him a two-week window to essentially decide whether he wants to keep the mandatory at light heavyweight or hold on to his mandatory at super middleweight, you know, 168, which is uh, something he has to make a decision on, you know, because that, that window's closing. You know, it happened a couple days ago, I believe. So, you know, that two-week window is closing fast. But we're going to see how it goes, man, you know, and, 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 and let's be real, too. David Benavides would not have moved up to get his feet wet at 175 if he was making 168 comfortably, you know. You're not filling out nicely. You're fatter than ever. We all know that 168, his presence there is only to get the Canelo fight, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully it happens, and we'll see if it happens, and hopefully sooner than later, man. I appreciate y'all rocking beer as always. Uh, let me know what y'all think about that. Who do you have winning, Canelo or Benavidez? Or do you think that Benavidez should give up on that dream and just fully commit to 175? You know, I think it's dangerous for him to play, you know, hopscotch with, uh, with 175, 168, though. We definitely don't want to see him lose because at either division because he couldn't commit to a weight, man. And look, cheer up, man. I got my godson here with me. You know what I'm talking about? Check out my guy son right there. Say what up to the people, Deuce. <laughs> yeah, out here playing with Bandit. And they go Kimber right there. Yes, sir, man. So I appreciate y'all, man. We chilling today. It's, it's, it's raining right now, so we're going to go ahead and go inside real quick, man. So I appreciate y'all rocking me. As always, remember with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. Hit him with a peace sign, man. Hit him with a peace sign, bro. <laughs> you the deuce gave you the deuce. Speak. Oh, boy. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.